Hey guys, Greg here. Let's solve remove duplicates from sorted list, lead code number 83. So we are given the head of a sorted linked list and we need to delete all the duplicates such that each element appears only once. And we return the linked list sorted as well. So if we are given the list of one, one, two, well, the duplicates are going to be beside each other because it's in sorted order. So here we just remove this one here. And so we'd have one pointing to two and we'd return that head. If we had this example, one, one, two, Two, three, three. we would want just one, two, three. All right, so suppose we're given this list, it's the same one as the original example, and we'd have a pointer head pointing to this node here. Now, as usual, we would get a pointer C, which is going to point at the first node, the head. And from here, we want to remove the duplicates. Now, if there is a duplicate, they're going to be right beside each other. And that means you're going to have one that is equal to the next one. So to even consider if there is a duplicate, we need to check if we have the current and we also have current.next because if we didn't have current.next well there's no point of even asking this value here there's no chance of a duplicate so we check if we have the current and we have the current next okay there might be a duplicate if their values are the same they actually are in this case then we want to skip this value here to skip over this node here what we do is just set currents next equal to current.next.next and that is going to skip over this node now we've lost access to this entirely, but that's okay because we don't actually want to use this. And here we are not going to move cur over because you could have had more duplicates to deal with. Say that this was also a one. Well, then we'd want to do the same thing. We would actually just want to skip over both of these. And so we'd skip over to here. So when we are doing the skipping thing, we are not going to move C over. We want to skip over all of the duplicates. Okay, so we've lost access to this node right here, but that's totally fine. We don't ever want to use that. We want to skip that over. We want to see again, okay, are both of these actually nodes here? Do we have cur and do we have cur.next? We do actually have both of those things. They are both valid nodes. Are their values equal to each other? So do they have the same value? No, they are not equal. In that case, we actually want to use this value and we must have removed all of the duplicates of this kind. So we simply just set cur equal to cur.next, which is now pointing to this node. Now at this point, we are now looking at a different value and we may have to remove duplicates of twos. So say for example, this was a two, well then we would actually want to adjust this to skip over that node over to here. But that is not the case. This is a three. And if they are different valued, then all we want to do is just move cur over. And so we have no duplicates. We are ready to move on to the threes. Over here, we have cur and we have cur.next. Okay, do they have the same value? They do have the same value. And so we want to skip over this. Now, this is okay. We can actually skip over just to the none or null over here. So this is implicitly pointing to null. That's okay. We can still point cur to be cur.next.next. That is what points to two over here. And that's totally fine because we skip over this node. And then on the next iteration, we don't have cur.next here. Okay, we have cur, but we don't have cur.next. So because of that, that is actually where this is going to complete. And notice that this is totally ideal. If we clean this up here, removing the stuff that we don't have anymore, this is exactly what we'd want here. We wanted one, two, three. It has no duplicates. Let's actually just clean this up a little bit more over here. Okay, that is our list. We have cur at the end. That's totally fine because we can just return our original head. What if we were given a list with literally nothing? So head was pointing to just null here. If we pointed cur to be the head, well, that's just pointing cur to be null. And so there's nothing to do with that. Therefore, what we'd want to do is just return the head, which is returning null. That's what you'd want to do because we weren't even given a list in the first place. Okay, so let's write our code. Okay, so we'd want to set cur equal to the head and we'd want to say while we have cur and we also have cur.next, they're both valid nodes. So do they have the same value? Is the cur.val equal equal to the cur.next.val? If they are, in that case, we want to skip it over. So we want to point cur.next to be cur.next.next. Okay, this itself might be none. That's fine. We're skipping over cur.next. Now, in that case, that is all we want to do in that iteration because there may be more duplicates
targets of that kind to remove. So we're going to leave that as is. Otherwise, if their values weren't the same, but they were actually still valid nodes, well, that's the case where you just want to move cur over. So we'd set cur to be cur.next. We have no more duplicates to remove of that kind. This is actually the entire code here. And as we said, we can return the head. And that's even going to solve the weird edge cases where, for example, if you had zero nodes, that would mean head is just null. And so you'd return null. That is also ideal. So if you were to run that, that will work. Okay, so the time complexity of this algorithm, this is going to be big O of n. We are basically just going through the linked list as we usually do. And the space complexity of this, we're not really storing anything. We're not using a stack or a queue or even recursion, anything like that. This is just going to be constant space. Drop a like if this was helpful, guys. I hope it was and have a great day. Bye-bye.